pistol yeah, behind I, them. That's what makes this such an intense game tonight. Well, that's for sure. In fact, the Chiefs and Eagles lead their divisions. You have the two best teams uh, taking on each other in primetime tonight. Monday night football. They have faced each other, by the way, uh, 10 times. The Chiefs winning six of those games, including the last four. And the last Eagles win was in 2009 when Andy Reid was the Eagles head coach. And before kickoff, the Chiefs are marking uh, American Indian Heritage Month tonight. The celebrations include the blessings of the four directions by members of the Kickapoo Nation, a performance from the Young Bucks of the Omaha Nation, and a presentation of colors from the Choctaw Nation Honor Guard. Former Chiefs linebacker Donnie Edwards, a member of the Apache Indian Nation, will be the drum deck honoree. So there will be a lot of celebration and, and honoring Native American heritage. All right, let's get an update on the Chiefs injury report right now. Let's go to KME tonight's Len Jennings on the field inside Arrowhead right now. Len? Yeah, hi, Chris. Hi, Laura. I, you know, I'm not sure what your photojournalist Todd is talking about, but I see a lot of wet stuff coming down from the sky. Not hard, but it's raining inside here at Arrowhead. You know, some a little bit of activity happening. Your fans starting to kind of find their way into the stadium. Usually this is the time that some of the Chiefs players kind of make their way out and get some warm-ups in and kind of checking in on that. Not happening right now, but we do know that Patrick Mahomes is in the building. You can't ask for anything better than this. A Super Bowl rematch coming up. Kansas City Chiefs versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Two of the best quarterbacks in the league and Jalen Hurts and Patrick Mahomes going head to head. And of course, head coach Andy Reid having so, so much success coming off a of bye week. So we'll see if he keeps that intact later on tonight. Here's the injury report. As you mentioned, Richie James, wide receiver for the Kansas City Chiefs. He is listed as questionable. And uh, for the Philadelphia Eagles, uh, Dallas Goddard, they're tied in. This is a big loss for the Philadelphia Eagles. He is out uh, for the game tonight with a forearm injury. We expect maybe another injury report as we get closer to kickoff. So we'll have more on that later on tonight. Back out here live, of course, the Kelsey brothers. They've been a huge story. Can't forget about them. Kylie Kelsey, Jason's wife, just came out here moments ago, made her way on the field. So a celebrity sighting here inside Arrowhead Stadium. But these guys going head to head. Jason Kelsey has never beaten the Kansas City Chiefs in his career. Of course, little brother Travis is hoping to make sure that stays true again tonight. So you're seeing some of the fans are making their way here, making a little bit of noise. We'll have much more coming up at 6 o'clock. Reporting live from inside Arrowhead, I'm Len Jennings for KNBC 9 News. Back to Laura and Chris. All I would right. love to be around the Thanksgiving table oh. at the Kelsey house. Yeah, that might be something. Yeah, Because <laughs> no matter what, the conversation's going to be nothing but interesting. Exactly. <laughs> All right, Len, thanks. All right, uh, tailgating is alive and well here at Arrowhead this afternoon. It's just done a little differently, I think, because of, of the, the elements, uh, quite frankly. But um, if you have a tent, man, that's the thing to have yeah, out here today. You have a tent, we'll tailgate, that's yep. for sure. And KNBC 9's Dennis <laughs> Evans proves that the tailgaters are well and alive. Yes, and I'm out here, of course, without a tent, but it's okay, guys. Nothing changes for these fans out here, Chiefs fans inside. The biggest difference is these tents that you see up here, instead of those tents, keeping out the sun and keeping the people cool, you know what it does? They're using tents like this just to stay warm. That's what the Chiefs fans are doing out here today. It's all about staying warm and staying dry, keeping the wind out. And you know it's game day when you see that mad dash of cars racing across the parking lot here at Arrowhead. A lot of people stayed inside of their cars. They also sat under their tents to try and stay dry. Just a little weather, not gonna hurt these fans out here. The crowd was out as usual especially to see the Eagles in a game like this. It's going to be about who's going to be the number one team in the NFL. I just hope nobody gets hurt with the slick and the weather. And I hope for a good, a good football game to start with. I always hope for a good game, and then we hope for a win. and Put us at 8-2 and two and keep us above the Ravens. That's what it's all about, but this is the one thing we've seen so many of. You see, everyone, you know, normally everyone's like huddled around the food, Everyone's huddled around the fire because that is the place to be. By the way, that feels really, really good over here, here guys. It's going to be a huge game out here tonight, and nothing can stop these fans from coming out to watch their Chiefs, and especially not against the Eagles. Laura, Chris, back to you. 
That's right. And a little bit of rain, because it is raining right now. (laughs) (laughs) We can confirm that. Dennis, thank you. You're absolutely right. And of course, the um, parking lots opened up here at Arrowhead a little bit early, um, around 1.45 this afternoon. Of course, there were people who had been waiting hours to get inside. They certainly had, and they are here, and they are ready for a win, because this is a repeat of Super Bowl 57. Kelly, Bria, back to you. All right, so excited about the game, they're not thinking about the weather. <laughs> nope, not That's at all. all we're thinking about the yes, game. Yes, indeed. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys in a second. Hey, if you're not at the game, Power & Light is having a watch party. We have some live pictures now from Casey Live Block. The doors opened not too long ago. Watching the game there is free, and several bars and restaurants do have specials on food and drinks. Well, she's a Kansas City and Philadelphia favorite. Travis and Jason Kelsey's mom, Donna, had a shift at Raising Cane's in Overland Park. Now she worked the drive through and front counter at the restaurant on West 131st Street. Raising Cane's had a special shirt with both the Eagles and Chiefs colors, honoring her iconic split jersey. You may remember it. Donna says she was surprised at how many people came out to Raising Cane's. It's just uh, amazing. The one difference is, is both Travis and I are, uh, we love attention. So, <laughs> so that's the difference. Jason, he doesn't like that much attention, but Travis does, so. <laughs> Mother and son. She's excited to see her sons compete against one another. Uh, you can become an honorary captain for an upcoming Chiefs game, GEHA's latest sweepstakes. That's coming up in five minutes. We're, of course, also looking ahead to the holidays, and KCI officials estimate 405,000.